I will now demonstrate an intravenous laser blood irradiation with uh, the Weber needle endo laser system. I will, in the first step, puncture the vein with a small butterfly, and later we will insert a fiber optic sterile laser catheter for irradiation of the blood directly in the vein. So I prepare the arm of my patient now for the puncture, and I'm using now a special butterfly which is not available on the market. It is a product from Weber Medical. You see that the butterflies has a special lure lock connector and I can um, attach a special small tube with which, in which I can see the blood running back if the puncture uh, of the vein was successful. I loosen a little bit the cap at the end so that the blood can uh, uh, run back and I can uh, prove directly if the puncturing of the vein was okay. So now small peaks. And you see that the blood is running back in the tube prolongation and now I'm sure that I have the butterfly in the right position. In the next step, uh, we will fix the butterfly with a small uh, tape. Besides butterflies, we also can use plastic cannulas like uh, Braunulas from Braun Melsungen. Every doctor knows this, uh, which has the big advantage, of course, that the patient can move his arm better and now we have a, a metal needle so it's important that the arm remains in a quiet position. So I open now the sterile catheter. You see that the end of the catheter is still protected with a sterile tube. So I deconnect now the tube and I see that the blood is coming out of the uh, cannula and now I insert the sterile end of the catheter and then I can fix it with a special plastic screw. Now I have a closed system and no blood can run out anymore. So the needle is now well fixed and in the next step I will connect the fiber optics of the laser modules uh, with the catheter. I'm using in the first step the red laser as the glass fiber cable inside and there's a special connector at the end of the cable in which I insert the end of the fiber optic catheter. The diameter of the glass fiber and the catheter is 0 0.4 millimeters only and you see that we are using uh, special glass fiber optics for the catheter from plastic material to make sure that never can break anything uh, in the vein. So I switch the device on and you can see how the red laser is shining through the skin. It's always an amazing effect for the patient, especially if you switch the, de the light off. So I show you now more exactly how it works in the dark light. I connect again the fiber optics of the device with the plastic fiber end of the catheter. And you can see this amazing effect that the red light is shining through the skin. The reason for this is that the red blood cell of course reflect the red light and therefore we can see it from outside. On the other hand, uh, the main effect of the red laser is that it is absorbed uh, mainly by the white blood cells which leads to a great immune stimulation of the different uh, immune cells like lymphocytes, uh, macrophage, monocytes, T and B cells and uh, other components of the immune system. I attach now the green laser and interestingly we cannot see anything 
That means that we have 100% absorption by red blood cells of the green light. Only if I stop the blood flow, I can see a little bit green light shining through the skin. But when the blood is flowing again, we cannot see anything. So the green laser leads to a 100% uptake of laser energy on red blood cells, which um, has, of course, uh, <coughs> leads to a great uh, energizing of the human blood. And also we know that uh, the blood treated with green laser can uptake about 20% more oxygen. We have the same effect with the attached blue laser, so also there we have nearly about 100% absorption by red blood cells. And the main effect of the blue laser is that it uh, leads to a, uh, like an antibiotic effect in the blood and brings more free nitric oxide uh, in the blood which is normally bound to hemoglobin.